Good morning everybody. As we have gone through the information of bhava that is thai bhava, rasa, the vibhava and anubhava. But today we will see all these in a tabular form. So it is easy for you people to understand the bhava that is thai bhava, its vibhava and its anubhava. We will see it in a tabular form. The first one is Rati that is pleasure. The Vibhava of it is the season decorating the body with garlands, anointing it with colors and perfumes, putting an ornaments, feasting, being in beautiful house etc. The Anubhavas are smiling face, sweet talk, play of the eyes and the eyebrows, sidelong glances etc. The second Bhava is Hasa that is Mirth. The Vibhava for this is mimicking others actions non sensual speech, forwardness, foolishness, etc. The Anubhava are laughter and other excessive responses as already mentioned. The third one is Shoka or Sorrow. The Vibhavas are separation from dear ones, loss of wealth, execution, imprisonment and other sad experiences etc. The Anubhava, weeping profusely, moaning, crying, loss of color, breaking of voice, weakness of limbs, falling down on the ground, lamentation, screaming, deep sighing etc. The fourth one is Krodha or, or anger. The Vibhava are manhandling, dragging, quarrel, debate, antagonism, etc. The Anubhavas are dilation of the nostrils and the eyes, beating of lips, throbbing at temples, etc. The fifth one is Utsaha that is vigor. Vibhava is high spirits, strength, courage, bravery, etc. And the Anubhava is poise, courage, sacrifice, learning, etc. The sixth Bhava is Bhaya or fear. Vibhava are offence against the king or the teacher, a view of wild beasts, deserted house, forest, mountains, elephants, a stormy day, dark night, hearing the cry of owls and other nocturnal beings, getting barreted etc. The Anubhavas are hands and feet trembling, palpitation of the heart, immobility, drying of the mouth and the tongue, perspiration, shivering, seeking refuse, running, getting dragged, etc. The seventh is Jugupsa that is disgust. The Vibhavas are hearing, seeing, or telling the things unpleasant. The Anubhavas are the whole body drawing in, face pinched, head jumping, spitting. 
the eighth one is vismaya that is wonder the vibhavas are illusions delusions caused by magic and supernatural power excellence of man's art in painting sculpture etc the anubhavas are widening the eyes staring without batting an eyelid raised eyebrows hair raising head shaking saying well done etc the first sanjari bhava is nirveda that is distress the vibhavas are poverty disease insight humiliation getting dragged getting beaten in anger separation from loved ones philosophy etc the anubhavas are in the case of women and persons of low character crying deep sighing etc the second sanjari bhava is glani that is exhaustion the vibhavas are disease causing excessive nausea fasting because of penance or religious regulation mental worry excessive indulgence in sex and drinking excessive exercise long travel hunger thirst rude awakening from us from sleep etc the anubhavas are weak voice lack luster eyes hollow cheeks and stomach slow lifting up steps shaking lack of enthusiasm emaciated limbs lack of color breaking of voice etc the third sanchari bhava is shank shanka that is guilt the vibhavas are sinful acts like theft robbery or offense against the king the anubhavas are looking around every moment veering the face drying of the mouth wetting the tongue loss of color of the face breaking of the voice shivers acting as if one is being suffer suffocated the fourth one is asuya or covetness the vibhavas are various offenses caused by envying others wealth good fortune intelligence learning grace etc the anubhava are declaring faults and attacking virtues of others in large assemblies of people rivalry by making eyes dancing of the eyebrows looking down and by other signals mocking the adver- adversary etc the fifth one is mother or intoxication caused by drinking alcoholic beverages the anubhavas are excellent natured people sleep their speech becomes slightly affected their body becomes pleasant they smile their complexion becomes sweet and bright the next anubhava is people of medium nature laugh and sing their eyes roll around hand movements become slow and loose their gait is stumbling the third anubhava is low nature people lose their memory collapse wretch and tongue becomes heavy and draws in the next sanchari bhava is shrama or weariness the vibhavas are walking a long distance exercise etc anubhava pressing massaging the limbs sighing yawning slowly lifting the steps face pinched and eyes down etc the next sanchari bhava is alasya that is lethargy the vibhavas are sorrow 
disease, inborn nature, labor, pregnancy, etc. The Anubhavas are lack of desire to do any work, sitting down, lying down, sleeping, getting lost in thoughts, etc. The eighth Sanchari Bhava is Dainya or Misery. The Vibhava are misfortune, mental worry, etc. Anubhava are head bowed down, absent mindedness, limbs bloated, as if through disease, giving up of bathing and cleaning of the body. The next one is chinta, that is anxiety. Vibhava are loss of wealth, poverty, deprival of money or dear ones. The Anubhavas are singing, Anubhavas are sighing, deep breathing, mental agitation, meditating, bowing down the head, thinking, etc. The th tenth Sanchari Bhava is Moha, that is loss of consciousness. The Vibhava are striking of misfortune, disease, fit or fear, remembering amity of old. Anubhava are loss of sensation, head wandering, falling down to the ground, inability to focus the eyes. The eleventh is Smriti or remembrance. Vibhava, loss of good health, sleep ne sleeplessness at night, seeing somebody of similar appearance, study, thinking, etc. Anubhavas are shaking of the head, observing things closely, raising the eyebrows, etc. The twelfth one is drushti, that is poise. Vibhava are bravery, knowledge, learning, power, pure actions, devotion of the teacher, fulfillment of hearts, desires, gain of money, etc. Anubhavas are enjoying things in life which one has and not sorrowing over things of the past or which are lost or destroyed. The thirteenth one is Vrida, that is remorse. Vibhava are rudeness to the disregard for the elderly, inability to fulfill one's vow and repentance, etc. Anubhava, clouded face, head hung down, thinking, drawing lines on the ground, figating with the end of the garment, beating the nails, etc. The next Sanchari Bhava is Chapalata, that is quick temper. Vibhavas are anger, envy, jealousy, rivalry, etc. The Anubhavas are harsh speech, breathing, berating, striking, killing, beating, etc. The next one is harsha, that is joy. Anubhavas are fulfillment of heart's desires, reunion with dear ones, satisfaction of mind, favor of gods and kings, etc. The Anubhavas are graceful expression of the face and eyes, pleasant talk, embracing, body thrilled, lack of sweet, etc. The next one is Avega, that is excitement. The Vibhava, hearing about or the actual striking of natural disasters of rain, wind and fire, stamping elephants and other unpleasant things. Anubhavas are all the limbs in disarray, mind distracted, loss of color of the face, etc. The seventeenth is Zadata, that is heaviness. Vibhava, hearing of seeing pleasant and unpleasant things, this is. Anubhava, break in narration, stopping in the middle of the speech, silence, staring fixedly, being in the power of others, etc. The eighteenth is Garva, that is arrogance. Vibhava, gaining wealth, 
फैमिली स्टेटस ब्यूटी यूथ स्ट्रेंथ एक्सेट्रा अनुभव एन वी डिसरिगार्ड नॉट गिविंग रिप्लाइज नॉट स्पीकिंग रिडिक्यूलिंग जेस्टिंग हार्श स्पीच एक्सेट्रा द नाइनटीन संचारी भाव इज विषाद दैट इज डिजेक्शन विभावाज आर इनएबिलिटी टू सक्सेसफुली एक्जिक्यूट सम वर्क ड्यू टू मिसफॉर्च्यून और एक्सिडेंट अनुभव सर्चिंग फॉर हेल्प थिंकिंग अबाउट अ रेमेडी लॉस ऑफ विगर डिस्ट्रैक्शन साइंग एक्सेट्रा द नेक्स्ट वन इज औत्सुक्य दैट इज योंगिंग विभाव सेपरेशन फॉर डियर वंस ब्रॉट टू माइंड बाय लुकिंग एट अ गार्डन एक्सेट्रा अनुभव डीप साइंग डीप हैंगिंग हेड हैंगिंग डाउन थिंकिंग स्लीप डिजायर टू लाउ लाइ डाउन एक्सेट्रा द नेक्स्ट वन इज निद्रा दैट इज सोमोलन्स नैचुरल डिस्पोजिशन ओवर ईटिंग वरी लेजीनेस वेरनेस वीकनेस आर द विभाव फॉर दैट एंड द अनुभव आर फेस स्ट्रेचिंग आईज रोलिंग योनिंग heaviness deep breathing relaxing of the body closing of the eyes etc the next one is apasmara that is paroxysm vibhava ar getting possessed by supernatural things ghosts and spirits or being reminded of them eating let overs finding oneself in a distress house अनुभावाज आर थ्रॉबिंग साइंग ट्रेम्बलिंग रनिंग फॉलिंग डाउन परस्पायरिंग एक्सेट्रा द नेक्स्ट इज सुप्त दैट इज स्लीप विभाव आर एन्जॉयमेंट ऑफ सेंसस प्लेजर्स बेविचिंग ऑफ द माइंड लाइंग डाउन ऑन द ग्राउंड एक्सेट्रा अनुभाव डीप ब्रीदिंग लिम्स रिलैक्सिंग आईज क्लोज all the senses bewitched as if dreaming etc the next 24th is vibodha that is awakening the vibhavas are breaking of sleep as a result of the need for food end of dream loud noise touch etc anubhava yawning rubbing of the eyes leaving the bed etc the 25th is amarsha that is vain gyans the vibhavas are being insulted or berated by a person of superior learning wealth and strength anubhava shaking of the head sweating profusely thinking with head hanging down meditation searching for a remedy or help etc avidtha that is impendence विभावाज आर कॉस्ड बाय डिफीट डिसऑनर शेम एक्सेट्रा अनुभाव माय मेकिंग द लॉ द लुक्स एंड स्पीच ऑफ अदर्स इंटर इंटरप्रिंग नरेशन एंड एफ्रंटरी एक्सेट्रा द नेक्स्ट वन इज उग्रता दैट इज ग्रफनेस विभाव थेफ्ट रॉबरी ऑफेंसेस अगेंस्ट द किंग slandering good people anubhava execution imprisonment scolding etc 28 is mati that is learning discussing the pros and cons of various learned sciences and meditating anubhava advising the disciples explaining the significance dispelling doubts etc then the vyadhi that is disease vibhavas are result of an attack of the my of the wind the by etc the anubhavas are the whole body shaking shivering contracting desiring warmth mouth dry mooning the body twisting especially the legs and the hands desiring to lie down on bare ground and so on
The next one is Unmada, that is madness, Vibhava, separation from dear ones, loss of wealth, accident, an attack of wind by etc. Anubhava, laughing, crying, screaming for no reason, irrelevant speech, sitting, lying, getting up, running, dancing, singing in fits, smearing the body with earth and ashes, covering oneself with grass and so on. The thirty-first is Marana, that is death. The Vibhavas are due to disease, disorder of intestine, liver or tumour etc. Due to accident, struck by weapon, beaten by a snake. Anubhava, the limbs becoming numb, body becoming loose, eyes fluttering or closed, laboured breathing, hardly seeing those who are around speaking with the attendants in very faint words, S struck by weapon falling down suddenly to the ground, twisting and turning, beaten by snake, the eight waves of stages of snake poisoning such as weakness, shivering and so on. The next one is Trasa, that is turbulence. Striking of the lighting, fall of a meteor, earthquake, roaring, roaring of the clouds and so on. Anubhava, the body contracting, shaking, shivering, immobility, hair raising, fearful voice etc. The last sanchari is vitarka that is perplexity. The Vibhava are doubt, confusion, discussion. Anubhava are question variously asked, explanations, secret charms, etc. Sattvika Bhava, Vibhava and their Anubhava. The first one is Sveda that is perspiration. The Vibhavas are anger, fear, joy, shame, sorrow, weariness, disease. Agitation, accident, exercise, worry, etc. The Anubhavas are taking up a fan, wiping away the perspiration, desiring, breathes, etc. The next one is Tambha, that is immobility. The Vibhavas are joy, fear, disease, wonder, dejection, disfavor, and so on. The Anubhavas are standing motionless with not so much as a tremor, heavy and empty with limbs, benumbed. The third one is Vepathu, that is trembling. The Vibhavas are cold, fear, joy, disfavor, touch and old age. The Anubhavas are shaking, shivering, throbbing, etc. The fourth one is Ashru or tears, Vibhava, joy, Vengenans, smoke, eye balm, yawning, fear, sorrow, starting fixedly, cold and disease. The Anubhavas are wiping the eyes. The fifth one is Vaivarnya that is loss of color. The Vibhava are cold, anger, fear, weariness and disease. Anubhavas are by putting pressure on the vein, dragging the color from the face and other bodily movements needing great effort. The sixth one is Romanj that is hair raising. Vibhavas are touch, fear, cold, joy anger and disease. The Anubhavas are making the hair on the body stand up, momentary appearance of goods, flesh and thrilled by touch etc. The seventh one is Swarabheda that is breaking of voice. Vibhavas are fear, joy, anger, 
ओल्ड एज ड्राइनेस डिसीज इंटॉक्सिकेशन अनुभव आजार बाय डिफरंट टोन्स सच एज चोक्ड ट्रेमलस थ्रॉबिंग एक्सेट्रा द लास्ट वन इज प्रगय दैट इज के ऑस विभाव आजार वियरिनेस फेंटिंग फेट इंटॉक्सिकेशन स्लीप एक्सिडेंट बेविचमेंट द अनुभव आजार बाय फॉलोइंग डाउन टू द ग्राउंड नाउ वी वील सी द रस एंड भाव रिलेटेड टू इट द फर्स्ट रस इज श्रृंगार दैट इज इरोटिक देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ श्रृंगार संभोग दैट इज इन यूनियन एंड विप्रलंभ दैट इज इन सेपरेशन द स्थायी भाव इज रति और प्लेजर संचारी भाव फॉर संभोग श्रृंगार इज ऑल एक्सेप्ट लेथर्जी एंड डिस्कस्ट एंड फॉर विप्रलंभ द संचारी भावाज आर डिस्ट्रेस एक्झॉस्टन गिल्ट वियरिनेस एन्झायटी लॉंगिंग स्लीप अवेकनिंग डिसीज एंड सो ऑन द सात्विक भाव इज ट्रेम्बलिंग विभाव द सीझन डेकोरेटिंग द बॉडी विथ गार्लंड्स एन्जॉइंग द कंपनी ऑफ डियर वन्स लिविंग इन ब्युटिफुल हाऊसेस विजिटिंग गार्डन्स सींग एंड हियरिंग प्रेझंट थिंग्स इंडल्जिंग इन स्पोर्ट्स अँड गेम्स अनुभाव प्ले ऑफ द आईज अँड आयब्रोज साईड लॉंग ग्लान्सेस स्वीट अँड ग्रेसफुल गेट बॉडीली पोस्चर्स अँड वर्ड्स द सेकंड रस इज हास्य दॅट इज कॉमिक द स्थायी भाव इज हास संचारी भाव इज इम्पंडन्स लेथार्जी सोमनो लन्स स्लीप अवेकनिंग जेलसी एक्सेट्रा द विभाव इज डोनिंग अँड ॲपसर्ड ड्रेस ऑर अ कॉस्च्युम अँड ऑर्नमेंट्स बिलॉंगिंग टू समवन एल्स फॉरवर्डनेस ग्रेडीनेस अँड सो ऑन अनुभाव थ्रॉबिंग ऑफ लिप्स नोज अँड चिक्स ओपनिंग द आईज वाईट अँड नरोइंग दॅम होल्डिंग द साईड्स द थर्ड रस इज करुणा दॅट इज पॅथेटिक स्थायी भाव इज शोक ऑर सॉरो संचारी भाव इज डिस्ट्रेस एक्झॉस्शन एन्झायटी लॉंगिंग एक्साइटमेंट डिजेक्शन मिझरी डिसीज लेथार्जी डेथ एक्सेट्रा विभाव बिकमिंग अ विक्टीम ऑफ अ कोर्स ऑफ मिसफॉर्च्युन सेपरेशन फ्रॉम डियर वन्स लॉस ऑफ वेल्थ एक्झिक्यूशन एक्झाईल ॲक्सिडेंट्स अँड सो ऑन अनुभाव वीपिंग क्राईंग फेस गेटिंग ड्रेन्ड ऑफ कलर द बॉडी बिकमिंग लिम्प साईंग लुझिंग मेमरी एक्सेट्रा द फोर्थ वन इज रौद्र दॅट इज वॉयलंट स्थायी भाव इज क्रोध संचारी भाव इज क्विक टेम्पर विभाव गेटिंग अराउंड बाय रॅथ अनुभाव रेडनिंग ऑफ द आईज परस्पायरिंग ट्विस्टिंग ऑफ द आयब्रोज ग्राइंडिंग ऑफ टीथ बाईटिंग ऑफ लिप्स अँड सो ऑन द फिफ्थ वन इज वीर दॅट इज हिरॉईक स्थायी भाव इज उत्साह ऑर विगर दॅन संचारी भाव इज पॉइज लर्निंग ॲरोगन्स एक्साइटमेंट अँड सो ऑन द विभाव आर हॅविंग अ क्लिअर माइंड टेनॅसिटी ऑफ पर्पज डिसिप्लिन मॉडेस्टी स्ट्रेंथ वेलरी पॉवर एक्सेट्रा अनुभाव डिस्प्ले ऑफ स्टडीनेस करेज ब्रेव्हरी लर्निंग सॅक्रिफाईस एक्सेट्रा द सिक्स्थ इज भयानक ऑर फिअरफुल द स्थायी भाव इज भय ऑर फिअर संचारी भाव गिल्ट लॉस ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस एक्साइटमेंट क्विक टेम्पर डेथ एक्सेट्रा देन द सात्विक भाव इज परस्पिरेशन ट्रेम्बलिंग हेअर रेझिंग अँड सो ऑन विभाव हियरिंग स्ट्रेंज नॉइजेस सीईंग स्पिरिट्स गेटिंग 
pursued by owls and jackals finding oneself in a deserted house or a forest anubhava hands and feet trembling eyes shooting around face becoming pale voice breaking etc the next one is bibhatsa the sthayi bhava is jugupsa sanchari bhava are parok sism excitement loss of consciousness death disease etc vibhava are hearing seeing or feeling of things unpleasant or improper anubhava the whole body in disarray spitting face pinched limbs trembling etc the last one is adbhuta that is wondrous the sthayi bhava is vismaya or wonder sanchari bhava excitement joy quick temper madness poise etc the satvika bhava is immobility perspiration hair raising vibhava seeing heavenly persons attainment of hearts desires being confronted suddenly with large assemblies of people aerial vehicles and so on anubhava widening of the eyes staring without batting an eyelid bravo well done o oh, giving gifts waving the hands etc Thank <laughs> you.